Hello there. Let's torture ourselves with this game for a while. It's been a few days. I haven't played it, so... Uh... Thinking. Pilot. It, it's been a day. I got up early, watched the Nintendo Direct stuff, and then kinda spent most of the day in bed. It's a day off here, and I currently can't do anything. So, yeah. <laughs> Just stayed in. The Nintendo stuff mixed. Mixed for me. But I'll talk about more stuff like that later. Not safe for him either way, I don't think. Let's just see. Yeah, okay, good. Just making sure so I can take this down with me. Now. I do want to amass money. Just in case. Alright. to get money. I just had this gut feeling. Um. Oh, for fuck's sake, leave me alone. <laughs> How much health are you going to take away from me? I may as well take the key down with me. Be able to earn enough to get that. Okay, definitely worth doing that. Cosmic. Yeah, I mean, I'll try. It's pretty much all I got left to do here. If I get bored, I'm just gonna try and survive as a criminal. I'm not gonna play this for long, though. It's just kind of my daily attempt at it. the funds for this. There. There. That should be enough now. It doesn't matter that I wasted all the bombs, it's cool. Poor 
important thing is this. Um, it would be nice to get the skeleton key, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Oh, uh, maybe. Actually, yeah. Now I can do this. Just to make Volcano easily. Done. Alright, we're good. I just don't want to have to stress looking for the key. Fortunate thing is I won't be able to get that. Um, <sighs> slightly off. Okay, I've got enough money for you. I guess it, I guess it doesn't matter as long as I get Kapala. Probably kill him with the rock. Ah. I can do this. Just be careful. Skeleton key, but let's just check. Nothing. Quickly. <laughs> Alright, 
I'm just gonna go straight down. Okay, that's... Ooh, paste. Nice. Okay, hang on. Let's just hang back for a sec. going all right. I might have to go back for that thing. Just because I need money. Okay, you can stay. Oh, come on. How are you not out of the shop? There we go. Thank you. All right, good. Uh, yeah, I need to go back. Make sure we have enough for the moon challenge in case it's next stage. Uh, um, I'm gonna just go down. Right. Unless there's an altar. Idiots. Fucking bat. Okay, good. <laughs> they survived. Alright. I'll debate on whether or not I should save the pet. I'll see how many bombs I have left. I don't need to feel fire anymore. Alright, everything's clean. Let's rescue them now.
Oh shit, all of them are alive. How's that possible? Okay, hang on. <laughs> Little idiots, please. Okay. Bef before you go any further, I would like to know what this is. I suppose I could hide them all down here. Like, I could make it impossible for them to climb out. Officially stuck. No, hey, wait. how'd they get out? Oh, why? Why? Why are you being such dumbasses? Stop! the bombs. Yeah, no, I'm good. Then clear of that. Oh shit, whoops. That was a fuck up. Oh well.
Ups. Couple more, and then I'll be good. I don't want to waste bombs, so I'm gonna try and sink it in one shot. and easy. At least I have pace. It's the only thing that I'm relieved about. And hopefully, tide pools is nice to me. But this looks strange. Ooh, careful. Get that, get that away from me. 
Oh, nice. Oh, that was the perfect way to deal with him. Okay, hang on. We're doing that again. But carefully. Alright, that, that'll work. Wait! Alright, it doesn't matter. That one's easily escapable. Okay, as long as you have a rock and behave yourself. I don't care. has no effect on me. We're good. <laughs> nice teamwork. I don't think there's an altar here though, so... Do that. Got to be careful. Put it down. Put it down. Well, that wasn't helpful in the slightest. Shit. <laughs> He's down there taking photos. I'm just gonna dig him a pit, so... Oh, why would you do that?! Get out of the water, you idiot! <laughs> I was digging you a pit so you'd be safe. Well, now I can't take that with me. Super useful to be able to destroy that thing. Good. 
Um, I'm gonna do this. I just, I don't trust any of this. Gotta be kidding. Shit. This just makes this more urgent. Ah, oh, well, I'm already poisoned. Can't get double poisoned. if possible, but we'll see. Oh. Great. Not my greatest work. <laughs> now. I want those boots though. Now, run. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Bring you with me. Just 
Just in case. Ow. We're okay. Minimal. Could have been worse. Ooh. Okay, hang on. I need to get you out of my way. Oh my god. So you don't do anything fucking stupid. Let's go rescue the pet. And I'm gonna climb back up and do that. Boots. Boots would be good. Yeah, alright. Swing and a miss. Yeah. Thanks for being the bait. Now, stay away from me. Because <laughs> I don't trust anything. How are you still alive? You know what? Don't answer that. Wait, no. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. That could have been a sacrifice. A live one, anyway. Alright. Neon Babylon. I mean, I may as well. Shit, I have to go through this. One. Out. Oh shit, I forgot to go through the- Ah! Alright, I fucked it up now. I thought it was one. Oh. Well, this is dead now. end. Yeah, that did not work out. bombs to do this in. I survived that, to be honest. Okay, let me try this again. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, that time I'm dead. Hey Zoe, what's up? 
How's it going? All right, I'm gonna have one more attempt at it. I wasn't paying attention to the stage numbers, so I fucked it up, but it's fine. I didn't feel like that one was going amazingly well. You slept for two hours after you finished work. <laughs> I took a nap during the middle of the day because there was nothing to do. I got up, watched the Nintendo thing, and then kind of hung out for a bit, and then went to watch some TV and fell asleep. Woke up, ordered some food, watched Beetlejuice, and here I am. Because that movie appeared on Netflix. It's like, I haven't seen it. Oh, they're showing off. Ah. Uh, I mean, stuff that's coming up, but then some new stuff they announced was uh, the new Kirby game, which seems more like a like a Mario game in terms of how it looks. Like it's not a side scroller; it's a 3D adventure game. Um, there's an Animal Crossing specific event they're going to have to announce new content. I mean, if you're into Smash Brothers, there's an event for that too. And uh, they talked about the Mario movie, which is coming out next year. And they revealed the, the cast for it, which you wouldn't guess in a million years. You heard about that, the cast? Yeah, I mean, there's there's ones in there that are surprising, um, but I can see it. But then there's others where it's like, what? What is this reality? <laughs> Chris Evangelist Christian Pat, yeah, uh, Pratt. Yes, I know. I didn't know that dude was like heavy into that shit until recently. Um That's not great. Eh, I mean I'm sure it's it's shitty some of the shit they believe in, but it's got nothing to do with me, so I pay it no mind. The only other thing they announced was uh, they're bringing Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis games to the online service, but they're going to charge more for it. They're going to charge more for it. So. Which it's mixed for me, like... I don't know. I can understand people are excited that those games are coming and it's cool. But the online service as a whole right now, it's just... I don't think it does the bare minimum properly. Like, it's a pretty well-known thing that any Nintendo online gameplay is sketchy at best, and then there are some games where it's just horrible, like Mario Maker 2, one of the biggest releases of the year at the time, it had the worst online gameplay that I've ever seen in any game. Like, to the point where shit ran at, like, 
10 frames a second, if, if that. Um, and then there's the whole thing where, like, there's so many games that come out that they, I don't know, like, take Mario Party, for example. When that game first ga came out, that would have, you, you, you would think that that game would be a no-brainer in terms of having online features, but it didn't. And it only started having it until months after the fact when they just randomly decided to add it out of the blue. But most recently, WarioWare is a game that has a lot of mini games, has a co-op story mode, has online, uh, well, it has a uh, local four player uh, mini games. And the online component for that game is, well, you get to play a single player game weekly and there's a leaderboard for it. So it's a weekly single player leaderboard. That's it. So, I don't know. I just feel like the service just doesn't do what a normal online gaming service should do. And to say, well, we want you to pay us extra per month for a couple of emulators, really? That they could have added in at any time. Like, there's been evidence of them for ages. I don't know. I, I just... I don't like the precedence it's setting for them. And I worry that to justify the extra cost per month, like, ongoing, they're gonna add, they're gonna do some quality of life stuff to the online service that really should be there from the get-go. That's the thing that I'm most concerned about. I mean, we'll see what happens. They'll, re they'll reveal pricing for it. But I just get the feeling, given what they've been doing lately, that that's gonna be the case. Um, like, look at Skyward Sword, for example. That did have quality of life changes in it, but then some of the other ones, like, they were locked behind an amiibo. Or, uh, the Mario Anniversary, for example. That 3D collection. They added an artificial availability to it. It's like, well... You're gonna have to buy it, or, uh, yeah, it's gonna be gone forever. Like a fake fear of missing out. And they did that again with Fire Emblem. So, I don't know. I guess, I don't mind paying extra for something, provided the base service is already good to begin with, and I don't think it is. So that's where I'm kind of conflicted on it. Wait, was it up or was it down? I can't remember. This is one of these annoying stages where it's in a weird spot. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Oh, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Wait. It's like they have a philosophy that doesn't resemble Earth Logic. They're just trying to shoehorn it into their online games. I don't think it's that. I think their approach is, like, very anti-consumer in some ways. And they know it because that's what makes them money. And it's not exact, it's not like this is new. They've had a long history of doing shit like this. That's the thing. Uh, I don't think I could rescue the pet. Okay, I did. I mean, I already invested the time. Um. 
I mean, you can take it as far back as you can. Like, let's go back 10 years ago, roughly. Where, like, the rise of gaming on the internet, like Twitch, YouTube. What was Nintendo doing? They were basically copyright striking people that would play their games. And then when they finally came around to the idea, the way they thought would be a good solution would be that if you ever want to make content on the internet that involve our games, um, we're going to have to take a cut of what you make, like with that creator program they had. Go back even further. Go back to like the era where cartridges were standard and they wanted every single video game manufacturer or publisher to go through them to get cartridges which ultimately gave birth to Sony in the video game market I love Nintendo and their games but just there's been a lot of times in terms of gaming where they've been on the wrong side of history Like, take this for instance as well. In the era where they had virtual consoles, so Wii, DS, Wii U. Let's say you purchased the Legend of Zelda NES game on the Wii. Which, this, this was exactly what happened to me. I purchased it on the Wii. And you would think that that purchase, if my Wii were to get damaged, that I'd be able to transfer that purchase? No. It's locked to my console. Even worse, I bought a DS, and you would think, oh, okay, I have a DS, I can play that game on the go. No. The DS version of the NES version of NES of The Legend of Zelda was separate, so for every Nintendo console I owned, I'd have to repurchase that shit. And that was their approach to, like, maintaining legacy games. Whilst every other provider like Sony and Microsoft they had that that shit down it was like yeah you buy it I still have access to PS1 games that I bought on PS3 which I bought like over a decade ago the games I bought on the Wii a decade ago, ago they're gone lost the time Oh, that was convenient. Um... So that's what I... I have been very particular with the Switch. Because of, like, these things with digital. I don't trust Nintendo when it comes to digital purchases. I just don't. Because they don't have a track record for it. So I've made it a case of purchasing every single one of my Nintendo Switch games physically. I mean, aside from the fact that pricing in Australia is annoying and often physical games are cheaper than digital games, but let's just put that aside. Like, even if that wasn't the case, I'd still be buying them physically. With Sony, I've bought plenty of digital games because I feel secure that if I want to access those games 10 years from now, I'll still have access to them. And the same case would be with Microsoft. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess why else would you have an account, right? I don't know. And these are things that they just still refuse to kind of acknowledge a industry standard. They just tend to do their own thing. And currently, like, everyone's, I guess, excuse for it is, well, yeah, you're not charged as much for Nintendo Switch Online. It's like, that's true, but I still... I feel like I'm not getting value for money in that service. Like... For me, and I know this isn't the case for everyone, 
those emulators, I access every now and then when I'm feeling nostalgic. It's, I've accessed them maybe three times this year. And the only way you're going to get value out of that service is if you are an avid player of like a Mario Maker, Smash Brothers, or Splatoon. Those are the three major titles that arguably have the best or the largest online following. Maybe not the best experience online, but the largest. Sony tried to shut down the Vita store a while and then backpedaled. But I guess that's where you've got to give Sony credit is like they backpedaled. Backpedal or not, it means they listen to people. How old is the Vita now? You think Nintendo's gonna do the same thing with the Wii U? They're not. I still have access to my Vita purchases. Just let that sink in. I don't have purchases to my access to my original DS purchases. And I don't know, like... Again, I will repeat that Nintendo makes some of my most favorite games of all time and franchises. I love those games, but... I've always felt like... The way they... They carry themselves out on the internet and just in general with doing shit for the consumer, they've always been really bad. Take the new Switch model, for example. Now I was, I for one knew that 100% there was no way they were going to do the whole like AI upscaling and all that, all those fancy features that people expected them to do. Because they were like, yeah, it's time for a hardware revision. I didn't expect them to do that for a sec. However, I expected, as a bare minimum, that, well, when the Switch came out, the chip that they decided to use for graphics was already old. It was already budget hardware. I expected them to give it a... Not, not something that recent, something still old. You know? Because let's face it, they weren't going to add something new. But enough to kind of address the problems with the Switch right now, which is it's starting to feel its age. There are a lot of games that don't run optimally. Even Nintendo's own games that, like... It'll be a miracle if they all run 60 FPS on that thing. Let alone 30. Breath of the Wild struggles at times. So I thought, yeah, maybe... It might not be the most flashiest of upgrades, like... Hardware-wise, but at the very least, they could give it more memory, so we can store more games, and maybe just make the GPU better, but not the best in line, you know? So at least the games perform nicely now. That there's no random lag that maybe... Maybe 30 FPS at the very least is achievable, no matter what. But they didn't do that. And even worse, when... Directly asked, did you fix the Joy-Con issue? They just flat out refused to acknowledge it. They did not want to answer the question. In fact, their official stance is on it, according to the lawsuit that's going on, is there is no issue. So... That's where I'm conflicted with them. And I'm not saying they're evil and every, like, you know, Sony and Microsoft are angels because they've had their fair share of stuff. But at the very least, when it comes to digital purchases, supporting games, like their back catalog, I should say, and having a service that does the bare minimum in terms of an online experience, they do it well. Say what you will, they do that well, at least. I can't say the same about Nintendo. It's 
Sounds like a company full of talented assholes. I don't know. I'm not sure what it, what you could point it down to exactly. Cause I don't I don't think they're assholes. That's the thing. I think developing a game for them, as far as like major AAA's go, probably be the least, the lesser of the evils. But I think on it's the consumer side. It's the part where they sell to you and try to get money out of you. That's where I feel like they're almost Disney in that regard. I'm gonna wait and see what they say about it. The pessimist in me is saying that to justify the price, the new price, they're gonna have quality of life features that should have been there from the beginning. Um, but maybe, maybe they'll do something where the whole service gets upgraded as a whole. I, I sincerely doubt that. They just don't have the track record for me to believe that they're going to do that. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much my thoughts on the Nintendo stuff is like, there were a couple things in there that they announced that I'm excited for. Um, the Kirby game, the Animal Crossing update, right? I did want to go back to that game because it's... As far as the pandemic goes, it's been a nice game. But then, the whole Nintendo Switch Online thing, I don't know. It's been pretty well received, so pe I think people are excited about it, for sure, because... Um, I mean, there's a lot of good Nintendo 64 games. And to their credit, it's not like they're releasing you know, just emulated versions of it. They are adding online multiplayer to, to them. But there is a bit of effort involved, but... Still. I guess I wouldn't have a problem if the service was less shitty to begin with. And I, I got that thing from day one thinking, yeah, I mean, it's crap now, but they'll improve it, and they just didn't. But I imagine multiplayer Goldeneye. I don't think that's going to be a thing, unfortunately. I was thinking the same thing, but then somewhat I was reading the Reddit thread just to kind of see the general imp impressions of the announcement, and the point was brought up that uh, Goldeneye is owned by Microsoft, and they weren't allowed to release it on the store or the published out of it. There's some licensing issue there where kind of like a deadlock. Unless Microsoft allows it, and Nintendo allows it back, it's just not going to happen. But, I mean, it's not out of the question. Like, Donkey Kong is on the Super Nintendo titles, and uh, Banjo-Kazooie is coming out, which is something that was only on Xbox before, you know, the announcement, so... There is some hope, it's just... We'll see. It would be cool. F Zero is coming to it though, which is cool. I always liked F Zero. And Paper Mario, that's a fun game. There's some good games in there, and the Genesis stuff as well. Like, I can understand why people are excited for it. And 
I guess if you were to have to buy all those games individually, even if it's a couple of dollars a month, it'll be worth it for that regard. But I just don't like the precedence it's setting where, like, dude, fix fix your shit before you start asking me for more money. That's the part that I hate. If the service was completely rock solid, like, in the sense that every game that came out had a good online experience, no frame drops or anything like that, like minor stuff, you know? And that every game that Nintendo released, any multiplayer aspect would have an online aspect as well. I, I would have nothing to say right now. It's like, fine, do it. The service is good, it's cheap, why not? I don't mind throwing them a couple of more bucks a month. But that, as it stands right now, I, I just, I can't, man. It's like... It's just allowing them to be complacent about the stuff they offer. And it's just further validating that, oh, well, we can just drip content and charge people for it. Artificial availability is all that stuff that they've been testing recently. I just don't want that to be... be the norm for them. You know what, what's gonna happen? It's like, well, if this is successful, then... Oh, we got Game Boy as well. Let's make that a DLC pack for the online service. GameCube? Yep, add that too. Any console you want online, pay us extra per month. Alright, that was a that was a bit of a lengthy like rant. I apologize for it, but just sharing my thoughts on it. In summary, I love Nintendo and their games, but sometimes I feel like a bit of a masochist for being a fan of their stuff. This is going well, by the way. I just need paste. You asked what they were showing half an hour ago. Yeah, I know, but it's a point of discussion. I will say, I laughed out loud when they showed Charlie Day as Luigi. I just imagined the whole Pepe Silvia thing. Or Pepe Silva. Not Sylvia, Pepe Silva. I don't know. I'm keeping an open mind, because the Sonic movie was something that everyone was going to- everyone thought it was going to be a train wreck and it was actually alright. I mean, Jim Carrey aside, I think. I think it was, it was a good movie. I can definitely see it being- I'm not going to say great, but decent. It's not something I'll go watch in the cinemas, but I think... Does Nintendo have creative control? Miyamoto's working with Universal directly. Much like, uh, the theme park they opened, and pretty much Miyamoto's there. Okay, that's good. That's something. Yeah, I don't think it like I don't think it's gonna be bad. I'm keeping an open mind on it. That being said, I don't think they have the most confidence in the movie doing well in Japan. There's one caveat they did to announce to today's announcement was uh 
they announced the release date for it in the US, but then they said, oh, release date for Japan coming soon. So it's like, ooh. They only, they only split up US and Japan release dates when they don't believe it's going to do well in one region. Or they, they question it doing well. Okay. I'm just making like a little hole here where I can go drop off the, the dummy. I mean minion. Consider it a daycare. Okay, let's make... Make a spot where he can get out easily. Yep, that'll do. That's so rude, what? Splitting the release date? I don't know. Climb up, thank you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll keep him down here. And I'll give him the sword. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll watch the movie. I think release today should be the same over, although being from Australia, very biased. Yeah, I mean, in this day and age, I would say no more than a day difference. I think the whole artificial thing is just, oh shit, get that quickly. It's just a result of a different era. Like, movies used to go on a tour and they would plan out that tour. And these movie companies are still run by people that have that mentality where, yeah, that's the norm. Okay. Well, let's hope for the best here. This will only go well if I can save the little idiot from himself, but... Ooh, spike boots, nice. A clan? I don't know, I'll try. Highly dependent on whether or not I can find them a spot to be safe. It's not easy. Uh. Oh. Is he stuck? He might be stuck. Hang on. I mean, this will give me time, but I don't. Wait, wait, wait! Don't, don't come through here. Wait. Sorry, dude. I just don't trust you. This is the thing that sucks about this: is I have to try and keep him safe. Okay. Come on, up here. Get back. Come back. No, he's poisoned. Not good. Alright, get in here. I have to find him a safe spot. I don't think there is one. I lock him on a, on a one block ledge. What, like here? No. Oh. The problem is his poison. I don't want to risk it. I'm pretty sure he's going to die before I finish any of this. Nah, uh, I'm, I'm just going to be safe. As nice as an eggplant thing would be, I, I don't have the confidence in it. I don't think it's going to work. I 
I should have taken the sword and killed that thing first. Yeah, no. I I'm good. He's gonna follow me in. Don't worry. I never bet on them. They have the smartest AI in the game and at the same time the dumbest. Ooh, hurry up. I mean, everything else is going pretty well. Good health, spike boots, gloves. And I feel more confident with this one. <laughs> Bye, friend. Yeah. They shed Bayonetta 3 finally. I've never played the Bayonetta series, but I've always kind of had an interest in it. I might check it out once it's uh, once it's out, because I do have Bayonetta 1 and 2 kind of sitting here. I guess I could always put this in storage if I want it. Do you wonder what caused my interest in that one? What, Bayonetta? Uh, I kind of like the hack and slash style action games a bit. heard the series is, is pretty fun. Ooh, ooh, careful there. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is worth risking. The only way I'm gonna do this is like this. Yep, and now when it comes across I'll be fine. It's been recommended a few times. Oh no, the sword! Um, I'm gonna have to go play fetch. Okay, since we're gonna have to play fetch. idiot, please. Oh. Oh, that can't be good. Okay, we're fine. I mean, I've also heard good things about the new game that they released. Um, Astral Chain. I don't know. I've heard that studio makes really good games. Alright. What I'm gonna do as a contingency, since the option is here. Wait, 
Have you thought? It's like... I thought you could carry this. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, it just switches it. I think you can carry it if you're already wearing one. Never mind then. everything that's happening right now. Okay, let's... Oh, wait. Shortcut. That central part. Fucking hell, that was dangerous. Okay. <sighs> Alright. I have this thing where, like... Because I'm using a PS4 controller and use the touchpad. But... It doesn't recognize the left side of the touchpad until I press it a few times. Uh, crack seven of jade marked by the Ankh. Oh shit, no. Oh, thank fuck. That was an accident, I pressed the wrong button. Alright, breathe, nothing happened. Crack seven of jade marked by the Ankh. This simple. Oh, there. Cool. Oh. Alright, looking carefully. around and doesn't face me and there's no risk of me getting shot in the face. Okay. Let me go clear a path. Oh, shit. Wait, didn't I do- I thought I did the thing. Alright, it's cool. Why'd they say stop thief? Didn't I do the Madam Tuss thing? I did. Alright, let's just avoid it. It's fine. I could have sworn I did, but maybe I didn't do them all. It's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just find an exit here. take the time to make sure that this way is, is safe. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, let's go back up. This should be straightforward now. I 
I may as well take the shotgun. sword real quick. I need something to throw up. That's what do. Oh, you've got... Wait, no, that, that should work, because that counts as movement. No? Oh, that almost got me. So the only thing that can fuck me up here. such a massive dick. Congratulations, you won. You'd think you can't take any damage after that point, but no. Oh, I guess I got a little time. Wait. Give it to me, give me, give me the health, 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 thank you. Oh, what the fuck? What happened there? Alright, it's cool, it's cool. No harm. The frog damaged the property, and so he got pissed at me. Bounced on his head and got the fuck out of there. We'll be cool. You've never seen me piss him off before. It's rare. But it does happen. this. There's also a tunnel here. I can see the rock there, but I don't know if it's worth uncovering. Okay, I'm gonna... 
down. I think I got the time to do this. Um, yeah, let's, let's make a shortcut. It's gonna save me a lot of time, honestly. jump unless I have to. Yep, that's why. <laughs> I didn't I didn't trigger it, the frog did, so we're good. You can get fucked. <laughs> Trying to poison me. The first time I got up to the cosmic ocean I got poisoned and that sucked. I didn't get a fair attempt at it. Alright, good. Okay, wait for the bug explosion. There we go. Is Doggo. I hear Doggo. Oh, there's Doggo. Um, Alright, let's do it this way. positioning but frames for keeping me safe. Let's just get rid of anything that's a threat. That has to go. This has to go. I think we're good. Alright. I'll try the, the stomp kill, but I don't know. I'll probably have to go for bombs. Mmm, probably not in the position for a stomp kill. Got it. 
Okay. We're oh, here. Yeah. Breathe. Good. This is a good starting point. Oops. Okay, we're leaving that one for last. Let's just go explore. 796. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I kind of hope so, but I doubt it. I don't have... Ugh, I don't have high... High jump boots, which is a little scary, but fine. Feels like I, I haven't been here in a while, so. Okay, that's two already. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go defuse the right hand side real quick. We don't. We don't want to hit. We don't want to be hitting that. This is what I mean by the fuse. I have learnt the most dangerous thing in this is anything that falls down. I just haven't had much luck, you know? Cool, I got my arrow back. Nah, it's been like a week. Oh, fuck. Alright. This is the real test here. I'm gonna have to... Okay. I fucking hate that I've done this. Another... Okay. Uh-oh. That's not good. Alright, got rid of it. That's just gold that's falling down now. Right, and currently that's the shit that can kill me. Is the stuff that's in freefall that hasn't landed. Get rid of you. Okay, that landed good. Okay, this is not so bad. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use rope here. Um, I'm also gonna open up the side just to clear shit out. I just, I just don't want anything accidentally hitting me. Oh, oh. How, why, why did the parachute deploy? That wasn't, oh, come on, give me, give me a break. No more, no more temple levels, please. These are the ones that I'm, I clench so fucking hard on. Ooh, careful. Bit of poison. And I know that there's always a booby trap with these things at the end, so... Alright, that thing's, that thing's out of my way. Nothing there. Okay. Now how do I get hit? Ooh. Ooh. Get rid of that. I, that block has to go. Okay. I feel safe about this now. I'm gonna put this as a reference point. Alright, one more. Ugh!
one more to find. There. Okay, got. I have my reference point. Clean. Please, no more temple levels. Okay, good. I have gotten better with dealing with them, though. Oh, that's... No, wait. Good. I lost the arrow, but it doesn't matter. Like, it served its purpose. Okay, it's on the right hand side. Let's just make sure everything... Is... Yeah, I think we're risk free here. Go out, go back in, and we're good. <sighs> I hate everything about Neon Babylon levels. I just need to try and get through this as quick as possible. Alien over there. I'm dead. Oh. Dead. Recovered. Lucky. Very lucky to be alive. Yeah, that's basically the thing that gets me killed in in, in this is Okay, four. I fucking hit every ah! No, it's okay, it's okay. It's not deadly, not deadly, not deadly. Okay, there's one more left. This is such an annoying stage. Okay, we need to get rid of this first. And then these individual things. I don't care. I'm defusing this. This is a fucking dangerous level. I just want to freely move here. Oh no. Where is it? I need a way in. Go. Oh my god. Ah, oh. Game, please. That cat has to be destroyed. Oh no. Go off the edge, go off the edge, go off the edge. There is so much dangerous shit here right now. Two. Yeah, this is clench. <gasps> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That cat's not here. Let's do that. Alright, we're good. Dude, it's been, what, four? Four temple levels? Nice caves. I would like a jungle stage just to get a weapon again. Okay. Noted. I'm gonna have to defuse this. That is way too dangerous to leave like that. Just let that uh, let that play out. I think we're okay. I 
hate ice caves. If you see me pass an orb, let me know. I think this is a point where like any kind of help would be appreciated. I mean, I'm on top of that, but... Okay, well, well it was... Where was it? It was in the middle. Yeah, there we go. Got it. All good. Okay, that hit an orb. That means I got two left to find. Uh, the only way I'm gonna get that is with a bomb, so let's just leave that as the final one. I'm gonna try and whip carefully. Okay. now. Thankfully I have paste. Fuck me. Okay, that is gonna trigger the end. I need to find the end right now. Good practice? That, I mean, I guess. It's just... Fucking despise everything about this, this area. Especially because there's no reward associated with it, typically. And... I can die instantly, or I could get my reduced health to, uh, re my health reduced to one. Either way, it's fucked. Okay, this is one of these. I need to take that out like that. I think that's safe now. Maybe. Let's just make sure there's nothing else there. Okay. No, go, go, just go down. Fall down. Oh yeah, and poison. Don't forget about the poison. Can't forget about the poison. Uh-oh. Yep, it triggered it. Alright. We're good. I am handling, handling this pretty amicably, though. I'm, uh, I'm like, what, 13 stages away from my record? <sighs> Alright. Oh no! I didn't know that that was the last one. I didn't even know I was directly above it. Oh shit. Okay, I need a... I need a scramble to save myself here. Ah, all right, it's over. I didn't realize it was directly below me, and I didn't know that it was three. I guess one of them got hit. I counted two. Shit, that was that was just unlucky. Okay, well, that's as far as I'm gonna get today. I don't feel too bad about that, because I think I played that really well. I didn't die to something stupid. I died to something unlucky. I didn't die for being careless. That was like 
fuck. That was like a one in a million. Having the jellyfish pretty much underneath me when I popped that, and I just couldn't see that it was there. So. I actually don't feel bad about that, though. The fact that I took... I think it was five temple levels, and was pretty damn good at making sure I didn't die, get cursed, or anything like that. I'll take it as a win. It just means I'm getting better at it. So, that's... That's my silver lining. <laughs> I'll get him next time. Alright, I'm gonna stand up, stretch, get a drink, and uh, we'll come back for Yakuza. But otherwise, yeah, I'll be playing more Splunky tomorrow, most, most likely. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm stubborn. So we'll be doing that around the same time. Tomorrow is Zelda day, so uh, we'll be playing Zelda. But yeah, I'm gonna go take a break and we'll uh, do the second game for the evening, which is Yakuza Kiwami. Alright, I'll leave you some video game music and I'll be back shortly. Thank you. 